What's up guys? Welcome to the Maintenance Man channel. My name is Neil. Thank you for joining me. If you aren't subscribed, please get subscribed. It helps the channel out tremendously. Um, today I picked up on clearance, which I guess it's an alright price. I mean, I bought the brushed Craftsman to test out for you guys a while back. A long while back. Uh, this is the V20 brushless. It's on clearance for 143. It comes with two two amp hour batteries, uh, a fast charger. I actually had they're both on one bar when I got them, and it charged both of them up to full capacity in under an hour. Um, so it comes with two amp hour batteries. I think it's a fast charger, a bag, belt clip. And surprisingly, this was shoved in there. 24 six point impact socket, half drive. So that's cool. Um, anywho, this is uh, CMCF820D2. So Craftsman, Stanley Black and Decker, you know, DeWalt, all that stuff. Quarter cable, all the same. A uh, hundred percent more runtime. I seventeen hundred inch pounds of torque, three speeds for added control. Proudly made in USA with global materials. They do have a pretty expansive lineup. So this must have came out twenty twenty one. Um, catches on fire in Canada and USA uh, this will give you cancer if you live in California anywhere else you're safe but in California everything gives you cancer uh, yeah so I thought to me that's still a little pricey for what this might be I don't know I haven't tried it out yet so far we'll just take it up against I'll run a few screws and stuff against the rigid, but I wanted to start off show you the Craftsman is uh, slightly smaller. Um, it's a good weight to it, you know. I'd say it's actually a little heavier than the rigid, slightly, no big deal. Got the big brushless across the back there. The tri beams, which I actually I like the tri beams. I really hate this, and I hate that Ryobi's gone to that. Um, this whole shooting up thing, it doesn't work out well for me. I don't like it. Um, so there again, made in USA, global materials. Uh, this is CMC F820 quarter inch cordless impact driver 20 volt battery the lights stay lit that's big for me I like that DeWalt kind of makes me mad when it doesn't do that and they have a nice battery design you guys know how I like to have that angle down to keep stuff out now unfortunately there's some gappage in the front there um, the stuff can get into these tools it just happens it's unexplainable no it's explainable it's you know the crap that we work on but anyways batteries I like the design of it I like how it slides on um, it's not like a, a pop they don't have any like spring or anything to pop that off out I forget what tool I did recently again it's, Three speed. I thought two is three, but so it has some some nice speed there. Uh, got the rubber front here. Let's see if the it is a quick load, and it does push the bit out. I like that feature. That's fantastic. You just have to remember when you're up on a ladder. Well, it didn't do it that time. See, that's how it's supposed to be, but sometimes I guess it could shoot out on you. 
So far, no failures here. I like it. Again, a big upside, not having light down here. You have your switch. One thing I do love about Milwaukee is the little, you can tap it right on the top, one button push. This, you gotta move over, but I don't know. This one's on the back, easily accessible also. It's whatever you want. Comes with the belt clip. Throw that on real quick. Um, and the charger is your typical weird Stanley type charger where it blinks green while it's charging and then it turns green when it's done. Um, a solid green. I don't know. Uh, You know, whatever works, it works. I like the red to green. Personally, but... Hey. I don't run the business. Alright, so... Let me grab... Meant to do this, but it's right here. A T25, and we'll start off with some two and a half inch deck screws which i had out but now i've seemed to miss place so i can easily grab a few more and we'll start with the craftsman and then go two with the rigid just to give a comparison and we are going to put it in speed three No problem. You know. Same with the rigid. Speed 3. Batteries fully charged. I know a lot of people do these uh, side by side time tests. And like a lot of the tools are like a, a fraction difference. And then it's like, oh, see that one's clearly better because it's faster. But I mean... If you're actually using tools on a day-to-day -day basis, whatever works for you, that's the tool you need to be using. Um, and if you need one that goes that little bit faster, then, you know, whatever floats your boat. I understand there's different trades out there. Now, these are SPACs, three and a half inch. So, we'll see how it does here. Make sure I'm in frame, of course, hopefully. I'll get it started a little bit. Here we go. Right down. Again. Man, it... Whew. I'll be honest. I, I, I really like that. This is a quick load, too, but I'm just so used to doing that I, I don't know man part of it I mean these screws they just suck in real nice um, good stuff there as you can see I mean maybe the video doesn't portray it but they're both running about the same um, I gotta say, I like the feel to the Craftsman. Now, these are four inch timber locks. And uh, it's gonna get right into my workbench, but that's alright. Whatever. We'll roll with it. Comes with a little sound doohickey. Run it out here. I'll get started and we'll do back like I'll just do back to back here boom boom and then we'll switch over to the rigid some of you guys might not know but when 
these tool guys set these screws up sometimes well when they're me I get too close and I'll be probably hitting the other ones but you know whatever here we go right into the bench pretty good speed on it quick load quick load there we go so I gotta say the rigid actually felt like it wasn't you know exerting as much energy as the craftsman um, another thing I don't know if you guys noticed but they used to design these batteries in such a way where the sticker would go over where you take you know so if you took them apart you'd have to peel the sticker or something you know not like I've taken these apart or anything but you know kind of have I do see that there's um, some holes in ventilation and this one kind of like the uh, Metabo coming out the sides there on the rigid and you know whatever I don't so it's it's a charging thing um, but what I was getting at the stickers I don't I don't fully trust lithium ion that was the one nice thing about NICADs it was trickle charger yeah the batteries don't last unless if you had like the DeWalt Makita the Ryobis were just you know god awful but um, you know just as I'm getting older I'm more careful with these batteries I understand they're not the most stable and even though I'll buy brands like this to test out, I haven't had much trouble with them, but it doesn't mean that it can't happen. Um, but I haven't heard of too many tools uh, doing it, and it might just be in my area. There's the other four wood screws right here sitting on the bench. So basically, let's rip these out and um, give you my final thoughts whoops my final thoughts that's magnetized on the craftsman Okay, so first off, I'm a big, I like the Irwin quick grip clamps or whatever they're called. These uh, Jorgensen's, I like them just as much, if not more. Um, I mean, they really clamp down to the point where I think I can just keep going and bending the bar. But like this thing is pretty well on there for the quick clamp you know I'm 250 some pounds I was recently 277 but I'm working on that anyways it grips it down good a couple little holes in there not a big deal um, I'll have to think of a better system here as I get my testing grounds reestablished for my YouTube videos. Uh, anyways, getting back to this in comparison to the rigid, which I'm not going to do. I'm not comparing it. I am not right now, at least. I'm going to hold on to this. I'm not going to 
use it at work i'll use it around the house and stuff it, ha it has a great feel it's it's lightweight it's short stubby which i like um in fact from head to toe yeah, about five and a half inches rigid's looking at about now hold on rigid is about five and a half It's a little shorter than five and a half. Just don't have cheater marks, so you know. Um, very close in size. I mean, you're talking about maybe an eighth or sixteenth, whatever. I think it's a nice tool. Um, if any of you guys are in the new Craftsman V20 lineup. In fact, if any of you are in the Craftsman V12, because I, I don't think I've seen any of those yet. So let me know about it. And, but let me know about your experiences on this. And like I said, if you could subscribe, that would be great. Um, I said this from the beginning. I would like to uh, make money off of views and then be able to put that back into the channel and be able to put that back into giving back to the community via giveaways, you know, Home Depot gift cards. Um, there's a lot of stuff, you know, tools I give away for free to people who need them, um, both on youtube and away from youtube i just don't really feel the need to share every freaking experience but you know um i really support the trades and i love seeing young people getting involved with them and that gets me excited so uh you know i review tools and stuff i'm gonna be doing a few projects on fixing things uh one being i was gonna do its own video on all these new tools oh and that thing comes with a bag stamp a usa on the side um you know it's a nice bag wonderful bag fantastic um no that you know those have their purpose lugging screws around and stuff but anyways i was out in the uh garage the other day and noticed that my stack that I had just plumbed in my new utility tub in this room uh, up top was leaking. Luckily, it's at the joint and there's nothing above it, like hidden in the wall or anything. I could get my hands just up enough. So I just have to replace from the 45 or 90 and then down. Not really down, but uh, I bought this off of Amazon unfortunately go helper and it's one of those ones where it can go into the PVC and I can put new pipe in there you know re-glue it reuse the joint instead of having to go above that or you know fern coat it comes with a few tools and stuff but I th thought this was like you know uh, fairly well machined uh, thing and I think it was about 60 or 70 dollars um, in the long run for me that will help out because you know I do side jobs and stuff and you know even on my own house if it helps with a few fittings I mean I bought there's a couple of fittings to do the sink for you know one and a half inch um, ABS and I was at about $80 uh, it's getting expensive so I might buy a there's another one that's $49 $50 and it's a two inch one and a half inch I guess it comes with both heads so it does those but I uh, Anyways, that's it. I'll keep making videos. Keep plugging along here. Um, 
you know, I'll have videos of fixing things, videos of tour reviews. I might do some head to heads. Um, but yeah, that's the future of the channel. And here's another video, as promised. Uh, next one will probably be I call it my workshop, but it's not a workshop, it's just where my stuff is. And uh, it's a little workbench to tinker on, but I'll do a little video. I'm not, you know, about 70% done. Um, but there, you know, I had to clear out the garage to make some room for, you know, if I got a bigger vehicle or something, I'd have the room now to fit it in the garage. And if I have to do any, you know, table saw work or whatever, usually I go out in the driveway if it's good weather. If not, I could back a car out and do it in there. Um, but yeah, that's it. I'll stop rambling on because that's what I'm doing. And uh, catch you guys on the next one. Thank you for watching. See you later.